Good morning. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How was your day? It was it was an, another day, another dollar. That's great. <laughs> oh my God, Eduardo! I can actually see ten percent of your face now. <laughs> because Monday and Tuesday, I only saw a dark shadow. Is the light now? Oh, there you go. Now I see you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hello, Gladys. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How are you, Gladys? I'm great. Good for you. Kelly, how are you? Uh, I am fine, teacher. Kelly, do you work from home? No, no. I have to move every day to the, my work. Oh, there, because it looks like you have an office where you are. Yes, because my sister have an office here, so I use it every day when I oh. came back to the home, the work. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. I see. Yeah. What about you, Brian? How are you? Fine, teachers. Today I returned to study Portuguese by myself again. So oh I'm, I'm excited. Yesterday it was Chinese. Mm -hmm. Now it's Portuguese. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Is Portuguese difficult? No, it's a, it's uh, easy because it's so. Uh, I like to the Spanish. It's very similar, so it's not so complicated. Oh. oh okay. Yeah, it's similar to Spanish. But I mean, uh, speak is no, it's not really difficult, but write is difficult because you have to use a kanji. Oh, in Chinese, yes. Yeah, kanji is really difficult. <laughs> it's like 60,000 kanji, something like that. It's, it's so mm -hmm. difficult. In Chinese? 60,000. Yes. That's what Our, people... Our Just teacher like say, said that you need like 10 years to know the basic of Chinese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <I> know. <laughs> One time I saw a meme and it was very funny because it said, remember when, when people started getting tattoos of their name in Chinese? Mm. And then there was like this man thinking like, hmm, y los chinos se tatuarán su nombre en español. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that. It was funny. All right. Mm -hmm. Juana, welcome. Oh, oh, you're in mute. Ah, uh, right now? Go. Okay. Very good, but a little tired, teacher. Uh, the my My day was very busy, and I'm I feel a little tired, but I think the class is very interesting and I will enjoy with it. Okay, very good. Thank you. I like it that you're always happy. Oh, <laughs> that's wow. good. You, yeah, you okay. are always happy. You always have a smile. Yes, <laughs> yes thank you, teacher. Okay, good. Sarai, are you there? Hello. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How, how are you today? Um, I'm very busy. Busy? <laughs> yes, very busy. You too. <laughs> yes. I I uh, be, um, I was front on the computer all day. Mm -hmm. Yes. And take exams and uh, give class. Wow. And, uh, oh, yes, you're a teacher. Yes, I, I'm very tired. But are, are you teacher? I don't remember, a math teacher, yes? Yes, I am a math, math okay. teacher. Excellent. I love math. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, and Ruth, what grade do you teach? 
in high school uh, mm. and the university too. In wow. this moment, uh, I will start a class in the university in March. In March. Sorry, my son is here. It's okay. Math one, two, three. Yes, uh, I did uh, calculo uno, calculo dos. Oh. Wow, excellent. Algebra vectorial y matrices. Oh, I, I, I think mathematics is fascinating, but I really hate it. <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> when, when, I, I was, when I was little, I was diagnosed with a problem and I forgot. Maybe you know, Sarai, that you block, that you get blocked. Yes. And Your mind is in white. <laughs> I always had problems with numbers, yes. Like, let me give an example. If we go to a pupuseria, the class, right? Yes. And I ask for the check, man, and everybody starts giving me money. Maya, mira, aquí van cinco dólares, lo mío sale cuatro sesenta, and, and you know, when I start making numbers, it comes to a point yes. that I, I just, Com I go blank. You have confused in your mind. <laughs> uh -huh, that I, what? And, and it's something very basic, you know, like, but it's when 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 everything starts accumulating, I I, I yes, guess. a block yes. in your mind. It, my, my mind blocks. <laughs> no, so but I, you have another talent, talent, talents, teacher. You talent. have. Yes, I imagine we have to have other talents. <laughs> <laughs> And that's why I always decided to study something where I do not use numbers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Teaching is one. <laughs> All right, Guillermo, how are you, sir? Hi, sir. Good evening, everybody. Good, Good evening. evening, Guillermo. Good evening. I am great. Thank you for asking. Good. Today is Wednesday, the middle of yes. the week. Yes, Wednesday. The belly bottom. Twenty yeah. seventh. Every, everything downhill from here. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's continue where we've uh, with the class. I'm going to share my screen. Tell me if you see it. Yes, I get from Mister. He's the teacher. Oh wait a minute. Okay. Let me see. Okay. Let's learn something new today. Okay. Do you want to learn an interesting fact today? Do you want to learn an interesting fact today? Yes. Absolutely. Let's Absolutely. go. All right. Sure. Here's an interesting fact. Do you know where the word fuck comes from? You mean F-U-C-K? Yes. Mm. And excuse me, but I will explain. I will explain. <laughs> it's, it's not what you think. Mm -hmm. But you have heard the expression, fuck you, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. OK, yeah. yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, really the origin of that word comes from the time of medieval times. Okay. So for example, imagine Kelly, you're married. But remember in that time, all the countries in, in Europe, they're always in war. They have always... Uh, Poland with England, England with this, Scotland, and they're always in war. So imagine, Kelly, if your husband went to war and he never returned. Okay. But the problem is that Kelly doesn't know what happened to her husband because some do return dead. Mm -hmm. But Kelly's husband never did return. So she doesn't know if he's a prisoner, if he died. 
or if he's gay. <laughs> but eventually, legally, Kelly is still married. Yes. But years pass by and she's still married and Kelly wants to continue with her life because women in that time, unfortunately, they could not work. Women are only to serve men yeah. in that time, right? So eventually mm -hmm. Kelly has to do her life again. So she meets another man. So Kelly has to go ask permission to the king if she gets married. And if the king accepts, she gets like a title, un titulo, and the title mm -hmm. said, fuck, fornication under consentment of the king. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, I mean, interesting. That. Yes, so. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, the king had to approve that. Like, okay, she's so it's fornicación she's bajo <laughs> el consentimiento del rey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that was the origin of that word. Now it's a bad bird. Now, now it's a bad word. It's a verb. Excuse me. Can you repeat again? But but. In English, please. Oh, sure. It's repeat what the, the, the meaning? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean. Yeah, F, F, fornication oh, under yeah. consentment yeah. of king. Consentment. 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 Ah, consentment. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> But it's the same in Spanish, right? Like there are so many words, like for example, uh, this bad word that is Toledo. Sorry. Uh, I heard that. Which look, word? Yes. Toledo. Uh, uh -huh. Sorry. Um, I heard that uh, my, my aunt was telling me that my grandmother used to tell them this word because it's uh, when you sew your the back of your jeans because they were oh yeah yeah rotten yeah oh, really? and now it's about word it's something yeah. it's on the, a piece of uh, fabric that they put uh, to cover the yeah yeah exactly in the back oh in the back i remember side, that of yeah. your jeans yeah yeah i i didn't know until not until the last week <laughs> it makes sense it makes yeah, sense and and there are so many words in uh, bad words now, right? That actually are, aren't bad words. Do you like know for it? example, it also depends yeah, yeah. on the country. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. But like we don't know, right? Yeah. For example, in Costa Rica, you can say pendejo, and that is not a bad word. It means like you're a scary person. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> do you know where the expression? Do you know where the expression a huevo comes from? No. Mm. No. No. Uh, I was, I don't know, I, I was listening, you know, I don't know if it still happens, but when you listen to the radio, like around 12 noon, it goes in cadena, mm -hmm. and they start oh, talking yeah, yeah. about, mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. cultural things. Yeah. And a huevo was when they sent the soldiers to the mountains in the war. And, um, Remember, the soldiers are 24-7. They, they don't ah, go from eight to five and then come back. No, the soldiers yeah. went there for days, months, or months, or years. I don't know, for weeks. Mm -hmm. So eventually, they had no money. So what they did was that the government gave them coupons. Mm -hmm. And with those coupons, they can go to a tiendita and pay with those coupons. And in the tiendita, I imagine they go to like a, a government office and then exchange for money. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is there was a war, so the tiendas never had anything, only huevos. Mm. A puro <laughs> yeah. huevo. A puro huevo, vamos a comer. So that, that's where the expression came, a huevo, huevo, huevo. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Interesting. Yes. Yes. Really interesting, yeah. That's yeah. 
and you know, and it's true. It has logic. Like, hey, well, I'm gonna put a well. That's all they would eat, just mm-hmm. eggs. eggs. <laughs> <laughs> The origin of the these words. Yes. Very interesting. They, mm-hmm. There, there's a lot of words that have interesting um, origins. Do you know where gringo comes from? No. Yeah, uh, green cut. Green. The soldiers with the. Yeah, the green. soldiers. Yeah, gringo. Yeah. But gringo is only for Latinos because for everybody it's Yankees. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Um, do you know, oh, there's an interesting one, the word um, hamburger, uh, sandwich. Do you know sandwich? Mm, no, I, I don't know. know. I have heard that it was the last name in the medieval. Yeah, it was a, it was a, um, a powerful man. Yeah, like Lord Sandwich or something like that. Yes, he was a Lord Sandwich and um, he was addicted to table games. Do you know what are table games? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, I don't know. Okay. Table. Okay. Juan, okay, Juana. Um, good. You don't know what table games are. Imagine. No. Listen to the okay. word. Table games. Table. So uh, any play. games you play on a table. Like Uno. Chess. Poker. Chess. Oh yeah. yeah. Dominoes. Checkers. Be- beer pong. Yes. Poker. Monopoly. Beer pong. <laughs> <laughs> beer pong. Monopoly. <laughs> But yeah. I think it, I think in that time it would only have been maybe poker or dominoes. Uh, well, but he, he was very in, he was. I'm sorry. I understood, teacher. Yeah, okay. In my case. Yes. Okay, good. So he was he was very addicted to those games, and one day he decided to invite a lot of people, and he had like a mini casino. <laughs> And it was almost lunchtime, but the game was so good, he did not want to stop. He did not want to stop playing. So the help, they told him, look, we have to eat. Everybody has to go uh, sit down and eat. And he says, no, make some food that we can eat here on the table with just our fingers. And they said, what? He said, get bread and put ham and cheese in the middle. So. We don't want to stop playing. So then they listened to him and then they prepared a sandwich. <laughs> and they gave one to everybody yes. every, and everybody liked it. So because it was such a good idea, they named it Sandwich because of him. It, it, it was something new because by that time they used to have a big lunch with in a really yes, small, big it, table it, with a lot of dishes, entries. And yes, dishes. it used to be a, a, a great event, you know, the lunch. It was... Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah, so then that, that's why it was named Sandwich. Sandwich. Or you know what's another interesting one? Do you know what is a cardigan? Mm. Yeah, it's like a pullover or something like that. A what? Pullover, yes. No, it's the contrary. It's a sweater or something like that. It's, it's like a, a light sweater, a jacket, like light, yeah, it's like a textile. It's but a kind of fabric. No, there's one. There's one more important thing about that. It's a sweater, yes, but it's a sweater with buttons. Mm. Oh. Ah. And the the person who invented that was the cardigan. Hmm. Um, it was a, it, he was another lord, and what happened was that people say that he used to be very, he used to have a lot of vanity. Like he would always look himself in the mirror, and he did not like he did not like the pull sweaters, the pullovers, because his hair. Mm. <laughs> yes, and uh, so he asked, yeah. <laughs> So he asked his people, look, I make this sweater. I love this sweater, but I want buttons. Mm, and so, that's where. Uh, how do you say, do you say abrochar? Button, uh, abrochar. Ah, that's button a good word up. for you. <laughs> button up. Button up. Uh, mm-hmm. mm. Button up. Okay. 
What about this our chair? Unbutton. 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 Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can even see button down, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it makes more sense with unbutton. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's true. Okay, let me let's start. So those are interesting facts about mm -hmm. about English, about words. Yes. The origin of words. Words that they words that have stories. Yes, words In, that have history. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So let me share my screen. Okay, do you see the lady? Yes. yes. Yep. Hi, listen and read the following words and phrases. Decide if they are positive, negative, or neutral. A compliment, an insult, appropriate, bad form, inappropriate, normal, offensive, polite, rude, strange, typical, unusual. How do you feel about these things? How do you feel about... How do you... Strange. Okay, if, if you see here, it says, um, are these words and phrases positive, negative, or neutral? Mm -hmm. Write the correct symbol. So a compliment is something positive, negative, or neutral? It's positive. 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 Good. How would you say a compliment in Spanish? Un cumplido, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Can you give me an example of a... Uh, of a compliment, Kelly? For example, uh, he gave me a compliment, uh, a compliment when, when I... Yes, but give, give a compliment. Give ah, a compliment. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, teacher, you look uh, very handsome today. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, repeat, repeat. No, no, I'm joking. Okay, yes, that's a compliment. That's a compliment. Good. Okay. An, an insult? What would it be an insult? Negative. Yeah, negative. 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 In El Salvador, we're very good at insults. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too much good. Yes. Too good. I don't know. Have you ever been to the stadium to watch a soccer game? Yeah, maybe one no. or two times. But it's funny because if the president goes, like, please stand up for the president. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how how they insult him. Yes. You know, yeah, I guess I'm all, we insult all the politicians. Yes. They deserve <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> I remember mm -hmm. many years ago, I think, who was the president? I think it was Flores. Oh, man. I don't know why he went. You know, he, I don't know what was he thinking that people were going to be. No, he. <laughs> and it was funny yeah. because he had 40,000 people insulting him in every possible way. And he was just like, hey, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Appropriate. Is that positive? Positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, I no, it's neutral. 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 Yeah, I would I would say it's neutral. Yeah. yeah. Neutral. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we have bad form. Negative. 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 Okay. Inappropriate. Negative. 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 That's negative. Normal. Neutral. 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 Good. Offensive. Negative. 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 Good. 
polite. Positive. 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 Good. Rude. Negative. Negative. Strange. Neutral. 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 Because yeah, neutral. Yeah, it's neutral. Yeah, I would say it's neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Typical. Neutral. And then we have unusual. Neutral. Neutral. Neutral because it's not negative or positive. Yes, no mm. negative or positive. It's unusual. Like remember we had rain in December? Yes, teacher. Yeah, yeah that was unusual. Yeah. But it wasn't something negative yeah. or positive. It was okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, so let's let's finish watching the video. Okay. Typical, unusual. How do you feel about these things? Discuss the situations using the words and phrases above. One, you kiss people you meet on the cheek. Two, you and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Three, you stand very close to people when you talk to them. Four, you and your parents talk honestly and openly. Five, your best friend calls you after 11 p.m. Six, you start a conversation with a stranger on a bus or subway. How do you open a conversation? How do you close a conversation? Hope these expressions are useful for you. Useful expressions. Conversation openers. How's it going? Do you believe this weather? It's awful. That's a great jacket. Do you know many people here? Conversation closers. See you later. Sorry, I've got to run. Talk to you soon. It was great to meet you. I should get going. I'll call you later. In class with a friend, start a conversation using the expressions learned. You may also type your conversation in our discussion box. Conversation openers. Um, I have to ask this. Let me see. Who is single here? And do we have any single ladies? All right, Gladys. From experience, <laughs> what is a conversation opener when you feel like a man wants to talk to you? What's the typical one? When? Sorry, when you. you know when a man wants to talk to you, what is the his conversation opener? Hi. <laughs> hi, like always. Really? Is so that hi? How are you? All right. And what's your closer? Oh, mine or his? Well, it depends. If you if you don't if you don't want to talk to him and just cut him right there, what do you do? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I gotta I gotta work. Bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so then, 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 like then, then it would then it would be your opener would be hi, how are you? Oh, very busy. I have to work. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, those are conversation openers, right? Openers. Or maybe if you are going by bus and you don't have to talk to anyone, you just pretend that you are asleep. <laughs> that it's <laughs> that it's a good opener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that, that one. <laughs> I remember that pretending you're asleep. Yeah. <laughs> And the closers, like, well, in the, sometimes the closers is just don't talk at all. Hmm. Just don't, don't say anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let me see. I can't get this. 
Okay. You still see my screen, right? Yes. Okay, let's listen to this conversation. Okay. This is a listening exercise. Three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? So we have a mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend. Three conversations. In the second conversation, we're going to hear two young students, two older friends, or two co-workers. And in the third conversation, we're going to hear two cooks, two wives, or two classmates. Okay, let's listen to that one right now. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. A lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Hmm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh, yeah. George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with the kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. All right. I like the second um, conversation. 
Okay, so number one, uh, who do you think is talking? A mother and her son, a teacher and her student, or a woman and her son's friend? A woman, a woman and a son friend. A teacher. No. A teacher and her student. A teacher. I think that is the third one. The third one. Really Listen no. to three Let's conversations at a party. Please. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course, I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Two. A woman. Definitely, it was a woman yeah. and her son's friend, right? Yes, yes. yes. Sure. <clears throat> Good. Number two, two young students, two older friends, or two co-workers? Two older two friends. Two older friends. friends. Yes. Mm -hmm. You could even hear in the voice. Notice how it yeah. said, two older friends. It doesn't say two old friends. Two older friends. Yes. Good. Number three, it yeah. says, two cooks. Two wives. Two, two wives. wives. Yeah, two wives. Two wives. Yeah. Nice. Okay, now let's listen to part two. Once again, three conversations. So let's pay attention. Thank yes, teacher. Oops. Listen to three conversations at a party. Who is speaking in each one? One. Hi, are you Pete? Yes, hello. I'm Liz Morton, Tom Morton's mother. Oh, right. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Morton. You too. So, are you enjoying the party? Yeah, it's great. This might be the last time I see some of these people for a long time, so I've been pretty busy trying to make sure I get a chance to talk to everyone. You know, it's strange to think that all you kids are graduating. Do you have any plans after graduation? Well, I've applied for a teaching job overseas. I guess I'll probably find out if I got the job or not next week. You're more adventurous than Tom. I can't believe he's going to take a job right here in town. But it's a good job, I guess. And of course I would miss him if he went far away. Yeah, I know. My mom doesn't want me to go far away either. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry. I think another friend of mine is leaving. Excuse me, Mrs. Morton. I need to say goodbye to him before he goes. Oh, sure. It was great to meet you, Pete. Two. Hey, Jim. Great music. What group is it? I don't know. It's the radio. Maybe they'll say after it's over. Well, it's a good thing my wife isn't here, or she'd make me dance to it. You know, she loves that old-fashioned dancing. Yeah, I know. My wife's the same way. Myself, I haven't danced since my wedding day, and I intend to keep it that way. Yeah, I'm with you. Although I do like this old-fashioned dance music, the bands back in those days could really play. Not like today. It's all image now, you know? Oh, I don't know about that. It's just the style's changed, that's all. I mean, a lot of those pop stars are actually pretty talented. You really think so? Sure. Actually, I've been listening to this CD my grandson left behind at the house last Thanksgiving. It's some of that, what do you call it, that hip-hop music. You what? You've got to be kidding me. No, no. 
a lot of it isn't bad. I mean, at least the lyrics are about something, you know? Mm, I don't know. No, try it. You'll see. Wait, wait, I'll put it on now. I'd rather go out dancing. Anyway, I should get going. I'll call you later. Three. Mmm, Jenny. This is delicious. I love stuffed grape leaves. Yeah, me too. It all tastes delicious. Do you think they made all this themselves? Or did they have it catered? Oh no, George is a great cook. Why would they cater it? Really? Oh yeah, George cooks? You didn't know that? Lynn's always saying that's half the reason she married him. Well, that is a good reason. Is she ever lucky? I wish my husband liked to cook. He completely avoids anything that has to do with a kitchen. You know, my husband's talking about signing up for an Italian cooking class on Saturdays. I hope he does it. Oh, I wonder if I could convince my husband to do that. I'd sure love being the taste tester for his recipes. Exactly what I was thinking. Well, I'll let you know when the class starts. Great, please do. In the meantime, I think I'll go mention it to him. Talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Okay. So then this were the closing. These were the, um, the phrase used to each conversation, the closing, right? So number one, what was the closing? Closing. It was, it was great to meet you, Pip. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, because the boy is, it, his name is Pete. Good. So um, those, that's a closing sentence. It was great to meet you. It was a great dinner. It was a great time. I had a great time. Yeah. Okay. I had a great time. Mm -hmm. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure, yes. Number two, talk to you soon. It was great to meet you, Pete. Anyway, I should I should get going. Call you later. Anyway, I anyway, I anyway, yep. anyway. I will call you later. I will call you later. Friends, right? Yes. Number three, it says, talk to you soon. It was great to meet you, Pete. Talk to you soon. Talk to you soon. The last one. Okay. Talk to you soon, right? Yep. Yes, check. Yes. You need to get eh, 20. All right, we got them all. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Only the first exercise that you will check with <laughs> yes. somebody. Okay, now we have our reported speech. Okay. Do you know what is a reported speech? No. Uh, when you talk about an uh, event or success or uh, something that somebody said and is is something uh, referred uh, in the past or that happened in the past and you talk about it uh, a situation or some or something somebody said in the past. I, I think it's, okay. it's something okay. like this. That, that's good, that's good. Reported speech, maybe that's where the word reporter comes from. Um, do you know our, our president, Nayib Bukele? When he, has the, when he has the national, when he speaks to, to the country and national TV, sometimes he speaks for two or three hours, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yes, teacher. So if I didn't see it and you saw it and I asked you the next day, hey, que dijo? you're not going to tell me the two hours. Mm -hmm. yes, you just, a lot of time. you cannot report it to me like in a summary. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so you're going to, that's a reported speech. And yes, everything. So, for example, and this is an example, okay, it's not, it's not that I want to talk about politics. 
imagine that Nayib Bukele says today, he says today, and we will build two more airports. Tomorrow, when I ask you, what did the president said? What, what did the president say? You the have to report to me in past. He said he was going to build two more airports. Yes. You never report in present or in future. Why? So you don't, um, that's a good question. That's how the rules go yeah, for reported they, they, speech. They, they, yes, right? Because, that, because it, let, let's take that example. He's going to build a, a, a two places. That's my example. Okay, Eduardo, I think we have that microphone problem again. And now, now you hear me? Yes. Now, you hear me? Yes. I have, I have a thought on, on that question that you say. You sound very, very far. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, this is the problem. Very strange, I don't know why, I, I, I thought yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is pretty much how in Spanish, imagine Bukele dijo, voy a hacer, voy a hacer dos, o sea, Bukele en tiempo presente, en tiempo yeah. real, está hablando en futuro. Voy a hacer dos, dos aeropuertos. Uh, aeropuertos. Pero ustedes mañana me lo van a reportar como en pasado, así es la regla. ¿Qué dijo Bukele? Ah, Bukele dijo que iba a hacer dos aeropuertos nuevos. Yeah, I'm sorry, Eduardo, I can't only, hear you. You have to say only the, the first verb, okay? He said that he is going to build. Yeah, exactly. No, he said In he was past. going to. Uh, he was going to. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. He said he's, I think from there, he, was, he said that he's going to make two airports. I'm sorry, In Eduardo, past. I can't hear you. But I think I, I heard that you asked me why it's not correct and this and that. This is called reported speech. And... Um, you will we'll see more a little bit about that right now. Okay, thank you. And Eduardo, porque hay otro que se llama quoted speech. Okay. Quote es comillas. Yeah. Yeah. Ya se cambia porque ahí digo literalmente como lo dijo él. ¿Y qué dijo el presidente ayer? Él dijo, coma, y el otro mes haremos, empezaremos a hacer la construcción para dos, dos aeropuertos más al Salvador este año. Sí. Coma. Eso se llama ya quoted speech. Cuando ustedes leen unas noticias y ven que cuando alguien habla que lo que dijo tal persona está en quote. That's what we're going to see right now. But reported speech is that when you tell me everything that happened. Okay. okay. So that's what we're going to do. Hi, I'm sorry. What did you say? This time you will be able to report what someone has said to you or to someone else. Reported speech, statements. It's a big secret. Report statements. He said that it was a big secret. I'm getting a terrible grade. He said that he was getting a terrible grade. They got engaged. He said that they had gotten engaged. We weren't talking about you. They claimed that they hadn't been talking about me. She's been absent since Tuesday. He said that she had been absent since Tuesday. We had never been there before. She said that they had never been there before. I'll meet you at the cafe. He said that he would meet me at the cafe. Reported questions. I asked him if he had known about the layoffs. What are you saying? 
I asked them what they were saying. Commands. Don't say anything. Report commands. He warned his friends not to say anything. General truths. The sun rises in the east. Reported general truths. She said that the sun rises in the east. Not change in tense. Let's talk about reported speech. We often use Let's talk about reported speech. We often use reported speech too. Number one, give someone a telephone message. Number two, tell someone news that we heard from someone else. Number three, to report something that happened earlier. Now, how do we use it? When we use reported speech, we are usually talking about something that happened in the past. Therefore, Verbs usually change to a tense one step in the past. Follow us in these examples. John said, I do a lot of homework. John said that he did a lot of homework. John said, I did a lot of homework last week. John said that he had done a lot of homework the previous week. There's your answer, this is Eduardo. What we mean do you when see we that? Said the verbs yeah. usually change. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's okay. No, no problem. No, it's a good question too because it doesn't. I understand why you asked that. Yeah. But um, because you're reporting. Thank also, you. also another thing of reported speech. Mm -hmm. Reported speech can be a little bit dangerous porque hasta puede ser uno chambroso. Mm -hmm. Because. Because. Um, Ima okay, me vas otra vez, the president. Imagine the president says, in El Salvador, the economy is not bad. So we have money to make more hospitals. Okay. The next day, if I don't like the president, voy a decir lo que él dijo, pero en mi forma. What did the president say? He said that we're rich. He said that in El Salvador, we're rich, so we have a lot of money, so we can make hospitals. Ya voy yo con mi salsa, right? <laughs> the... <laughs> I'm sorry, there's a fly here. <laughs> But, but do you know what I'm saying? That That's where reported speech comes from. And maybe that's where the word reporter comes from. Got it. And really, is that what the president said? <clears throat> Technically, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not in that form. So reported speech is when you report what the person said in your way. Okay. Okay, that's what we're going to see a little bit more of that tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Yes. Um, like when you tell, uh, imagine Brian. Brian, Brian likes Laura. Y yo le digo, espérate, yo le digo, Brian, Laura, Brian says he likes you. Imagine, okay, this is an example. Brian, uh, Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi. <laughs> Laura, Brian likes you. He really said that? <laughs> yes, he told me that he thinks you're beautiful and he wants, <laughs> and, um, uh, he wants to ask you out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, good. Brian, ya le dije. What did okay. she say? Ask me, what did she say? What did she say? What did she say? She said, really? <laughs> I don't believe you. Well, technically, clase dijo eso ella, <laughs> eso? Technically, yes. Yeah. yeah Porque she, she said, <laughs> yeah, if she literally, ella dijo, he really said that? 
Okay. Yeah. Pero yo. Pero, uh, pero vengo yo con mi salsa y. What is, oh, she said, really? <laughs> Another eso, intensity. Yes. Y por eso digo, así empiezan los chambres. <laughs> yeah. Pero, pero una cosa. Eso es reported speech. This is not reported speech. Brian, ¿y qué te digo? Oh, she says that she likes, she, she likes you too y todo. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Because that, that's an in, in, invention. She did sure. not say that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she said, really? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> okay. That's what we're going to do a little bit more about tomorrow. We're going to practice, maybe separate different rooms so we can practice. Okay. 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 So thank you very much. Have a very good night class. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, thank you teacher. Tomorrow. Good, tomorrow. Good, night, good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night, class. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.